and we're now back in Second Life. I have been gone for about three months. I had a huge mental breakdown about maybe two months ago, and I just needed to start to take a little bit lesser time away from Second Life. So I took less time away, and now I'm officially back. I am officially able to build. I'm officially able to do my own thing. I'm, but I thought since it was time to try to see if I can challenge myself. A um, little bit of side note, I've always loved to being around um, building and stuff because of my, my father in real life when I was a little, I used to do a lot of plumbing with my dad when I was little. And I just, even in these virtual worlds, I call them, they're not really a game, but I call them virtual worlds. Um, I love to try to try new different techniques and seeing if I can overcome the overcome my abilities to build. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try something new. I don't know if it's going to turn out nice. I don't even know if it's even going to work. Uh, I'm going to try something. I got to make a house less than 100 prints. And hopefully this can be done. I am only doing maybe about a two bedroom, well, two bedrooms plus master bedroom so that'd be about three bedrooms one bath and laundry room and kitchen dining and that's it so let's see if i can do this all right guys the like subscribe button down below and i hope you guys love these coming upcoming videos remember this is only part one i don't know how many parts there's going to be for their speed build but um, i'm going to try to lay down the house tonight and then we're going to go from there all right guys so let's get to it Oh my god, I cannot believe that I literally started building. I was, all of a sudden, it was out of split personality. I'm thinking like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get a new entire new land, and then maybe after that, I'll just buy it, I'll buy a house, and then after I buy a house, I'll then just do a temporary. But now I actually fell in love with the land that I just purchased. This land here, however, it was way too small, not enough prims, and I literally had to switch lands this morning. I am so happy the way this house has turned out so far. Um, there is still quite a bit more to do. Um, next part will be texturing, aligning, and um, after texturing and aligning, we're going to do, uh, linking to see how much the entire house is so far. And then after that, we're going to work from there. Um, then the part three, we're going to work on doing windows and doors. And then part four, we're going to be doing, a, um, putting it into the res, reser. And then part five, we're going to be going right onto marketplace. And after marketplace, we're going to literally just show you how to buy um buy items on marketplace we'll do that another day but i'll literally show you how to set up your own store on marketplace from start to finish so i am pretty excited i cannot believe how well this house has turned out um it looks so good after i moved to a different land though it went from small tiny to, to massive it like one of the rooms in there should be the master bedroom it's on the corner but i gave it to one i gave it to two of the kids because one of the two of the kids really really needed the extra space so i ended up i ended up giving it to the kids and i'm really happy i did i did I did not, however, like how boxy it looked when it was all finished. It's not fully finished yet, but it's still, it's getting there. Um, this took about three to four days of building from start to finish. And after this, it was, um, it was basically smooth sailing from there. Um, I am pretty happy though that it, we're just about done though. Um, I'm actually at the end of the tunnel. I have lots to get done. And I think one of the parts I need to also, um, this is not even going to be included with the parts, but we're going to do actually called an edit, an edit housing, which basically be means 
um, furnishing the entire house and going from there. And after we do that, then it's going to look pretty, pretty awesome when we're all done. But in a good way, in the end, we are now figuring out where I want everything at in the house. I wanted to have the um, a huge, massive kitchen, um, something that a lot of houses are lacking. Um, even to this day, huge, mass massive kitchens are, are not as big as they should be. And I am just so excited to show you all what this house is going to look like when it's fully finished. So that is the end of the tunnel. So here's me trying to figure out if I want to do a, a garage or I haven't fully figured that out yet. If I want to do a garage or if I want to do a carport. And I think I might do a carport to minimize on the prims and going from there. Um, I haven't fully figured out what I want to do. And when I have, when I fully have figured it out, what I'm going to do is if I do if I want to do a garage, it's going to do two different um, versions. One's going to be uh, with a carport. One's going to just be just a slab out, out the side where you can decide what you want to add. Or, um, of course, you'll have your garage. So you'll have multiple um, versions of this house eventually. Um, and then when the houses get better and better and better and better, everything will get much nicer and easier in the end so that's a good thing i guess um and anyways off to the house build um i have been really going through a lot of problems in real life and i haven't been really feeling like i've been wanting to build um i was going through a lot of depression and um mental health problems and i'm i'm not okay i just lost she was a mom to me and I just lost a mom today and I'm pretty mentally screwed up in the head about it. Um, I don't know how I really want to do what I want to do. Um, I'm okay. Um, I have family, I have friends to keep me stable and keep me going, but, um, I just don't really know what to say or what to do anymore. So when I go on second life, it's like, okay, I want to get this done. I want to work. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this over and over and over again. I want to get this done. And then when it finally gets finished, I'm able to work and I'm able to succeed and I'm able to do what I got to do for my family. And that's something that I love. I love to build in, in second life because I know I'm building not just for myself, but for my kids. And that's something that I like to do. I like to just sit on second life and figure out what do I want? What do I want to build? And what I love to do is I love to go out and about and I love to um, go for a ride in my wheelchair that I have, my electric one. And I love to look at houses for suggestions. And I love to be able to um, get ideas of how I want to build, um, how I want the house to look like. And so I built a house that is a reminder of the house on on um actually that's close to my house it's quite realistic and I really am happy the way it looks it looks so amazing and so pretty that I know that I can keep going and never look back um I love to I love building in real life I love the aspect of um planning of how I want to build a house in real life how I want it to look and because of that it is it's amazing. I I wish I lived in this house in real life. Because if I had this house in real life, I would have it. And because of that, I am so excited for my future of eventually buying land and um paying for paying for a, a home that I thought I would never do. But that's something that I wish I could do now. I wish I could just say, okay, you know what? Let's go buy a house and let's get out of this area and let's never look back. And because of that, I don't think we'll ever will look back. I don't think we're ever going to be able to say, okay, yes, all right, this is this is our life. This is our happiness. This is what whatever. But 
I can't do that. And that's something that causes me a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression because it's like I can't just walk out of my house and go buy a home. And I wish I could, but I couldn't. And that makes me really, really sad. But I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel of everything. I, I am so happy in real life now. I found my true meaning of life and living and how to get around everything. I also now have an amazing Second Life family. I love you guys. You're great. You're awesome. But, you know, I'm just sitting here and I'm literally just trying to look back of how the house used to look and how it was going to look in my head, how it was going to be this small, tiny, little camper style home. But now it's perfect. It is the best little piece of thing that I've ever purchased. And what's the best thing is I can actually house all my kids in Second Life. I can house my entire family in there if I really wanted to. And there's so much room. That is how I'm surprised of how much room there actually is in this house. So the way I build, I build a little different than a lot of other people do. I love to build. I love to be able to sit on my computer and be able to sit here and relax and do my thing and try to think about what I want to do, how I want to build, how I want this to look. And then after when it's finally finished, it's like, whoa, did I really, really do that? You should really, really see the end results of what it looks like now. Now it has a roof. Yeah, it may not have shingles on it right now, and it may look like it's a, a plywood two by four um, house right now, and it looks it may look really, really realistic, but that doesn't matter. What matters is I did something. I uh, yes, I built a house. I used to go for weeks on end and leaving that piece of item there, and because of that, I would leave a house, a hospital, and I would not touch it for weeks on end because I would. I would literally go through a block, like a building block, like a blockage of, like you know how writers have writing blockage, how writers can't just know how what to what to like write and stuff. That's what I was going with building. I was just going through a blocking a, a, a really frustrating time when I didn't know what I, I wanted to build or what I wanted to look like. But now I'm actually going away from that. And now I can look to the future. I've now have taken about three weeks away from everything. I took three weeks away from Second Life and I'm back. And I'm so happy the way everything looks now. I'm able to look at the look at the house that I've just built and I'm thinking like, oh my God, I actually did that. Oh my goodness, I built that. Oh my goodness, what did I do? And some of these some of the ways I build is not like I used to build 10, 20, 50, 30 years ago in any of my games, in The Sims 4, um, in The City Skyline. Stuff has actually have changed. And Second Life used to be so much different than it is now. Um, way back when, when I first started Second Life, there was a thing called Prims. That's what we're using now. They're blocks. And that's where the Prim Docker came from. The Prim Docker has been... Um, I've had it since the first day that I joined Second Life. Sadly, you can no longer get the docker. I wish you could. I wish I actually, before the person left Second Life, as if I could have bought his patent and kept it going. Because even if it's 2023 now, it is one of the best items out there to this day. I have no issues with, with, with the docker head. I use it a lot more than I actually should. A lot of people get mad at me if I use it too much. But I love to use partial mesh. I like my walls to be, you know, the good old docker because I don't have any issues with, um, I don't have any issues with leg. I still can get uh, loaded in quite quick. And I'm able to just say, you know what, today I want to go do this. And it looks all aligned and looks all nice and pretty. And that is something that makes me feel really, really, really good inside. I'm able to feel like, oh my goodness, what did I build? That is the best thing I have ever done. Um, if you see some weird things, how it's night and day and night and day and night and day and whatever, it is because I was going through um, days. So I would take maybe 
what like three four hours five hours six hours eight hours ten hours and I would take a couple of hours to myself and hop onto the computer hop on, hop onto the computer do my thing what I need to do for the day or go out and do my thing go do some shopping go go do whatever I got to do and then after that I'm able to move on and that's something that I have really enjoyed the way I build now I I'm so excited the way this is going to look. I can't wait until I can make memories with my Second Life kids in this in this house. I can't wait to get on one day and one of our kids is in the living room playing with the TV and then it breaks. I, I just can't wait that something silly like that happens. And that's going to be the, the awesome thing about it too is Second Life is not just a game. It's a virtual world. It's, your, it's a second place where you can go and have a different life where you don't have now in real life. And that's what I love about Second Life. The Second Life is where you can have friends and family that are still there, that are lovable, they're kind, and they're amazing. And that's something that I go from to this day. I enjoy building. And that is something that I like to just keep going forward and going and going and going and not ever stopping. And that is something that I really now enjoy. And because of that, I now enjoy doing a lot of other different building. Um, I have a lot of building that I would like to eventually work on, but I don't know what else I really want to do. And that's something that I really did not. I just, I just don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I want everything to look like eventually, and that's going to be okay. But I was really confused when I was building this house because part of the side was going to be where the, um, was going to be where the, uh, the, um, the outside area is going to be. But then I changed it to the other side because I wanted to make the other rooms even to the house. So instead of having the house 3D textures, it just looks like one big box. I was done. I didn't want to build anymore. And I, I know for a lot of older homes, a lot of older homes are like that now. They're like an entire triangle or a rectangle. And, but they still have depth. You know, it may not be fully, fully square, fully rectangular or square or whatever triangle. It still has some kind of pop outs. But it still makes a lot of sense the way it will look like. Um, here's just me trying to make sure that the kitchen that I will be probably using is going to work. And that's something that I like to do is I like to get in a few of the stuff that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a certain kind of shower. So I want to use that shower. Uh, if I'm going to use a different ca um, cabinet or, or whatever, I'm going to use that. But that's, I want to make sure when I do my windows, I want to make sure I have the ability to use that item and not just say, oh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Oh, my goodness. No, absolutely not. So what I'm just trying to say is right now, this is how it is. This is life. This is the way we live. And this is, this is second life. And I always say this is Second Life because this is what I like to do. I'm also trying to figure out is how many rooms that I want to really put in. Um, I put in, I don't remember how many rooms. I think I did like two, four, five rooms all in total. So it's endless. You know, a lot of the main bedrooms will have closets and stuff. The master bedroom, I was actually trying to figure out how I want to do how I want to do a walk-in closet. If I want to do a walk-in closet, how am I going to do that walk-in closet to make it look realistic? Am I going to use pocket doors? Am I going to use sliding doors? Um, I do have a certain kind of script that I can use the sliding doors. So because of that, you don't you don't know what you can use. You don't know if that is the way you're going to build that one day. You could be all of a sudden laying in bed thinking like, oh my goodness, I should have done that and hop back on Second Life and do something. And then all of a sudden you screw up and mess up and then you have to redo it. And that's something that I hate. I hate having to redo stuff. Um, so here's me trying to figure out these stupid flipping floors. That's something that I had a lot of issues with was these floors. Um, Especially when you're actually still using prims, you got to go for the exact measurements. Um, you got to do the exact uh, thickness. If you want to expand a thickness to a different wall, you got to be able to 
visualize of how you want everything to look. Um, so here's a little backstory, a little story when I was a kid. Um, so when I was a young kid, um, I was raised with my grandparents. I was mentally and physically and, and um, emotionally abused by my birth mom. And because of it, I was um, given to my grandparents. My, my grandfather was the one that mainly raised me from when I was little to when I'm a teenager and now I am happy. I'm happy who I am. I'm able to get through the day and because of it now I'm able to say yes this is how I'm going to do today. This is what I want to do today and when I'm about to do um, anything it's it's a hassle. So I was raised how to get a, a nail and hammer. I was able to um, do certain stuff. I was able to, um, grab, um, a piece of wood and build some kind of like toolbox or something as a kid. And I, I just love anything building wise. I love it. And I'm just so happy. And because of that, it's like, I can sit here with my service cat that I'm holding right now, Princess DV is like, oh my goodness, let me go, let me go, let me go. But no, I don't want to let go. I don't want to let go, Miss DV. I'm literally just sitting here and I just can't wait. I think I'm, I think I'm already at the new, I think I'm already at the new land. I think I've already uh, moved already and I actually like it a lot better. Um, I don't like the wind sky that is actually on this land, but I think I'm going to set it up a little different on mine. But other than that, I'm really excited to see how this house is going to be built. So what I was thinking about doing is since the master bedroom is going to be pretty big, I want to be able to have a seating area where I can sit down and watch you know, TV by myself or watch a movie without anyone without me. If your kids want to go watch their TV, they can do it in the living room or they can watch in their room. But I wanted a little sitting area where I can have a little a fireplace, a little TV, where I can sit there and watch cartoons in the morning if I really wanted to. So this is what I was talking about, is what I like about getting uh, certain items that I like to use for my house, and I like to be able to build it into the house. Then what I like to do is when I'm done building the house, I like to do a style card. This is like the way you would do if you were making a shape. I, lo I love to do an including of a style card where you get all the items for your house so someone can go and let's say they can go copy the way your house looks. And then I can actually tell you guys of how much all the prims is going to be and how much everything's going to cost. And if you want to add things, it's, it's a really cool idea to do those kind of, those kind of style cards for any building. And so then you, then the person that is dealing with the items that they want to, then they'll be able to just build with no problem. They can actually work on finishing their project. So because of that, um, I've been crazy busy. I can't just take a break from everyone. Everyone wants to start stuff lately. And I'm not talking about my life and my family right now in real and second life. But you know, um, oh, this wall, this window here was causing a lot of problems. I didn't want to have a full window. But I wanted a small, skinny, long window because that's the part of the closet. That's the male side of the closet. So I was thinking, like, I still want some light coming in that window. And because of that, you can't just, you can't just, you know, not have a window. Because that would look really, really stupid. All of a sudden, somebody's driving by your house and it's like, oh, wow, well, there's no window on that side of the house. It's really weird. So that is something that. I try to figure out how I want it to look. So here's me trying to do the built-in closet. Um, I'm not fully done with these closets yet, but it's like I'm really excited for when they are done. And then I can just go from there. So here's me trying to figure out how I want it to look nice. And after it's done, it looks really good. It looks better than it should. And because of that, it was, it was perfect. It was like the best thing I've ever seen. It was the best piece of home that I've ever made. So because of that, 
I am completely done. I Okay, so here's me. I cut a lot of this video out because it was getting so long and repetitive. So here's me working on the roof. I'm working on the roof. I want everything to look okay because I want to start working on the texturing so the next day. And then after that, I was going to go from there. So I was trying to figure out how I wanted the roof to look. And I didn't know the way I want this house to be finished. I am so excited to do a walk a walkthrough in this house. And when I do this walkthrough, I'm like, I'm going to be excited to do this. But yeah, I know here's me having, struggling, having a problem figuring out the way I want this house to be finished. So then I had to literally cut a lot. So here's me, I cut an entire part of this video. And after I cut the entire video, here's me trying to figure out how I want the roof. And this roof, I, I hate making prim roofs. I know there's a thing called mesh, but I don't like the way the mesh looks. So I try to, um, I try to do the way that I was taught years ago. And when I was taught years ago how to do stuff is I was always taught to make things look really, really good. And I am so excited to just have this house finished. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Hit the like, subscribe button down below. Bye for now, guys.